is a Simbarashi Kelly Marunisa. I'm 28 years old. I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm in my fourth month now working as an inspirator with Kwacha Africa here in Kenya, Mombasa. My main areas of work with Kwacha Africa have been uh, issues to do with monitoring and evaluation, uh, where I've, I've been focusing on documentation of their work and also trying to make sure that their work is also reported uh, internally and maybe to donors outside. So I have been doing mentorship on report writing, um, basically uh, focusing on how, how a report is written, the basics of a report, uh, the structuring of a report, and also the information that is required in a report. Other areas that I've been working on has been also proposal writing, the issues of resource mobilization, where we're looking at how, how we can write the, the proposals as well. How can you write a proposal and what are the issues that you should include in a proposal? And I have been working with, with, with groups, but now I am going to start working on an individual level, the same way that we have been doing with uh, report writing, where we can have one-on-one -on -one mentorship on how to write a proposal. I think the big achievement will be like uh, before he came we used just the, the management team of Kwacha used to do reporting for even the volunteers when they do work but right now through his uh, support and that mentorship on report writing we have seen a bit of changes in terms of the way we used to work in terms of reporting because the volunteers right now they can organize their own activities write report on their own and submit in the management you know, for, for, for just checking and editing, but most of the reporting, the management is doing very little, but the members themselves are doing these things on their own. And this has come as a result of the Inspirator has uh, been training these young people on reporting and on the communication skills. We noticed maybe some young people were lacking in confidence. Was what I have come to realize uh, working at Kwacha is that there is vast knowledge, there is vast experience in the young people that are uh, coming to Kwacha. But unfortunately, maybe they, they lack that confidence to be able to ex express or to bring that knowledge and experience out. So we had a training uh, that focuses on confidence building, that is the active youth course. Um, that, that it focuses on youth participation but mainly the focus is building confidence and also looking at things that might hinder participation of young people and how to, to counter those things. So we did that, it's a three-day training. Uh, we also identified facilitation skills because these guys, when they go to community outreaches, they are required to do some facilitation. Also, when they are doing schools programs, they are facilitating to the youngsters in schools. So we also focused on facilitation skills, where we had, I think we had two trainings that were looking at facilitation. The other one now was looking at different methods or methodologies of facilitating, where we have been trying to, to look at how else can you do facilitation other than just standing in front of people and giving out information, though you might have the skills that are required of a facilitator. We are now looking at other areas, other ways of, of passing out the, info, the information, other ways of facilitating the sessions that might require even participation of the, of, of the individuals themselves, the participants themselves. Because we believe facilitation is just trying to help people get to a certain level the learning should be done by the participants. Through various facilitations and trainings about youth active, I've also gone through a facilitation session with him about YPEs, as in peer educators. I've also gone through a session with him on life skills and goal setting. Simba has really helped me write writing reports and curriculum vitae. We've also had uh, trainings on, with, this was most basically with the activista, where we had trainings on women rights based approach, the action aid approach on women rights based approach. And we had this with some members here in Mombasa and somewhere from Kilifi. 
uh, where we had that training. And when we came back, again, there was a request for us to do that training because they felt the time was not, was not adequate because it was a, a one-week program that also had leadership, it also had advocacy, it also had a number of other issues that were discussed in the same way. So people have already requested for the human rights-based approach. So we have already planned for that. We are going to also to do it here at Kwacha. Uh, but we also have members from the community also coming for that training. Um, another thing that we have also, we also want to do with the human rights-based approach training, we have the government, governance department um, officer or head. We are going to be working closely with her so that she understands the HRBA uh, approach, the benefits and how you can use it in programming. So we are also going to start a bit of mentorship on that. And for me, the way I see an inspirator is someone who is coming to a certain place to maybe inject new energy, inject, uh, motivate the guys that are there to, to go maybe a step further than what they would have, where they would have gone alone. So an inspirator, you are just there to inspire the people to reach to a certain levels that they might not have if you had not inspired them in that way. So it's bringing motivation, new energy, and also there is there are new experiences that we have from wherever we are coming from as inspirators. We have some certain experiences that we have that are different from the settings here in Kenya. So when you come with, that, with those experiences, people might also draw some, some, draw some lessons from them. They might also uh, add some new experiences to themselves, just, just interacting with you. They, they get to, to learn a lot. Right now, I am able to pass the skills to my fellow volunteers because it's only for a certain duration of time that the inspirator will be here. So I won't, I won't like it when he goes, then the skills that he has, it goes with them. So I would like that when he passes the skills into me, I am able to pass the same information into my fellow volunteers. So that is what I've been able to do. And I've been able to mentor like two people to write report. So that has also been an achievement on my side and also on his side. So it has not been, his efforts have not been in vain because other volunteers like me have been able to write these reports through me. What I like about the Inspirators program is that you yourself you stand to benefit even more. Because you are here in a certain, in a community where there are lots of people. You are interacting with in individuals. So with each in individual you are going to interact with you are going to pick something up. Whilst them, they might be learning from you, one person, but you, you, you have that, ex that opportunity to learn from all of them. Like, individually, you, you pick up some things as you go from each, and, each, each one of them. I wanted to do something, you know, like, some, to do with the geography, like field work. So, through him, I learned how to write a report which is so different from what we are being taught in school. And it is more, if you look at his work, he's more good than what we are taught in school. So I was able to know how I'll do it in future. The gaps that I identified when I came, um, there was no clear, clear policy on how and as to how reports should be done and when the reports are supposed to be handed in. But now there is, everyone knows after an activity and they are given a task to write the reports. They are aware of how they are supposed to write that report. And uh, there is a clear channel of, after writing that report, uh, which channels are, is that report going to take? Because previously someone would just be told to write a report. And from that moment, no one would even do some follow-up sometimes because they don't know even where to submit that report. So there is that system now in place.